Justin Towns Earl. <laughs> JTE. He was a good man. Just trying to get by with that little guitar friend he had on his side. Now, one day, he wrote a song that was so good. It was called Halfway to Jackson. Halfway to Jackson. Halfway to Jackson. All right. Halfway to Jackson. All right. That there was no plan to do that, to do any of that. Okay. So with me telling you that, maybe that'll make it less corny. Now that you know, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing. But yeah, JTE man, great, great guy. You know, like he always had an opinion. You know, but. Man, when he, he had like, he must have had hands like made of fucking, I don't know, man, like bricks. Because the way he would play so fucking hard, day in and day out, I'm like, how do you not get arthritis? Okay, how the fuck? Who knows, okay? It was just his spirit. I'm sure he had lots of pains in his hands, but he just didn't give a fuck. Okay, so Halfway to Jackson, amazing, amazing song. I want to know, like, what inspired him to write a song like this. Like, the, for the music, the lyrics is a different thing. But the music behind it, I want to know, like, where he got it from. Because there's a source to everything, okay? Believe it or not. It would be, it would be nice to know. It's just such an interesting, awesome song, Honky Tonk Rhythm. Okay? It's beautiful. So we're going to get right into it, okay? So... Get your capo on the third fret. I could teach this without the capo, but it just does not sound anything like um, it does when you got it on the key of G on the third fret, okay? So now that you know that, something you should also know, now that you know that the capo's on the third fret, is that when I play the open strings, that's zero. And then when I play here, which is the fourth fret technically, one, two, three, four, I'm calling it the first fret, okay? Because we can't use these frets. So this is the first fret, third fret, or first fret, second fret, third fret, you know what I mean? So this is a G chord, C, A minor. Okay, just to keep things simple. So now, with knowing all that, I can show you how to play this badass song. And if you're a good singer, then you can make it super badass. Okay? Oh yeah. It's like disgusting in all the right ways. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So that's five on the E, right? So count zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So it's like an A chord, okay? And now you got four with your middle finger on the A. So you got your ring finger on the five of the E and on the four of the A, you got your ring finger. Now you want these fingers to be free, okay? Because you're gonna be using them. So first, we're just going like this, alternating. So E and um, um, A and D, okay? And you're just practicing that. You really wanna get good at that. And then when you start adding, Okay, when you start adding that, 
um, keep in mind that every time you're going, it's when you're hitting the E string, okay? So I'll let you know, I'll tell you. So pinky on the five of the B, so. See that? So E, the A and D, and then E. And every time you hit the E, it's that on B string on the fifth fret, so. just open B so so and just count how many how many of these I'm doing in between the I don't know, I just feel it out. I've heard the song enough that I just know, okay? So you can just count it, right? I've gotta make you do a little bit of extra work, come on. So then you wanna go, so, hey, which is really cool, so. I almost have to get to it to be able to play. I can't just play it out of the, so. So. So, okay, so how you do that is you go E, so E, and then go. So when you hit this, you hit the five on the B at the same time, so. Okay, so. So. So E, you hit that, so E again, so then you, so like in between the E and the A, okay, then you go, you strike up on the, on the high E string, and you got your pointer finger on the third, so, so it's like, So it's, and then you hit it at the same time as the low E. So all together, it's, I'll play it real slow. It's, don't get, conf like, let yourself get confused and realize that you're just making yourself confused when it, but the, it's very simple. You'll see how easy it is once I really break it down. Look, 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 look. So you go. Okay, so, uh-huh. So it's like, uh, uh, in between, same time. So. And that's just that last little thing I have to show you. So one more time, really slow. So. So. Last little part. So it's just E, I'm keeping this same shape. So it's just B, and that's it. So, uh, so, and then this, so. So, my advice to you is, now that you're not confused anymore and you realize what it is, um, your muscle, your nervous system will still be confused because you haven't practiced it yet. So when you're playing it slow, just enjoy that process. And before you know it, you'll be playing it. You'll be playing it faster than him, you know? That's how good you'll be, okay? So just keep practicing, okay? So now that you got that, 
Now, the, what makes the song a song is in the middle of all this mayhem. So it's like, it, like this part jumps in out of nowhere. So it's like. So. So after you go. Okay, listen to the record a lot, okay? So this is the hardest part, right? Once you have this independence, you'll be able to learn it, exactly what he's doing. And you'll be able to play it however you feel. You'll be able to play off feeling instead of like a robot, like this is exactly how you play it. Because guess what, he played a song, he never played the song. Um, the same way twice ever never maybe in the studio he was trying to go for something and he went for that but oh no never um never live okay and that's a real artist when they can do that so right here once again travis picking it's it's something that's weird to teach because it's like can you do it or can you not do it and if you can't do it, then why can't you do it? Is it because you don't want to practice it? Or because you're brand new? And if you're brand new, then this is a great place to start off. This is a great basic song to learn because it's basic theory-wise, but it's hard um, physically. So an exercise you could do is you should be able to talk and do this at the same time, honestly, with no problem. And then you could add... alternating from the E to the D, right? And he's going. Okay, so that's the E and B string played at the same time. You're just striking it up. So. Okay. you can do that okay um then once you get to here it just sounds complicated and it sounds hard because i'm playing it fast okay so don't let that um discourage you it's just wide open. Okay? That's a cool sound. Okay? So, from the top, it's just, I'll play it real slow. Just, it's not hard.
mistakes. It's not an easy song physically, but you can get it. You can get this under your fingers. And when you get it under your fingers, then you'll have this forever. something from that and I want to thank you for watching see you in the next video